Max Scherzer has the start for the Rangers tonight. That's always kind of exciting. 12 and 5 record overall in his 24 starts, but as a Ranger, the numbers get even better. Crowd on hand here, hoping for some good news. The 0 2, a swing and a miss, and a strikeout gets us started tonight. And now with one gone, he'll deal with Jorge Polanco. Fans want back to back strikeouts to get it going. Here it comes. And he got him looking. Polanco down on strikes, two away. And here is Royce Lewis. Pops this one up. Foul territory, first base side, and low has it. The inning is done, and what a start for Scherzer. Joel Ryan had a very nice game against the Rangers on Saturday. First start back after an injury stint. Big pop up on the first pitch. Correa out, and it's the left fielder Walner making the catch, playing his first game here in Arlington, one away. And he'll deal with the aggressive Corey Seager now. That's to center. Retreating is Stevenson. And on the warning track makes the catch. There are two away for Nathaniel Lowe. On the ground, weakly to Polanco. And Ryan has a one, two, three, first inning. Just outside. Kepler will take a walk, and that'll bring up Correa. Broken bat, soft liner to second, and that's out number one. Correa retired. Here's Walner. That's interesting. This one on the ground to first base. Lowe will feed Scherzer. They'll get the out. Walner retired, but Kepler now is at third base. And the Twins debut now of Andrew Stevenson. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. He'll take care of it himself. Strikes out Stevenson. Third strike out of the night for Scherzer. Rodolos Garcia, then Mitch Garver and Jonah Heim. And he strikes out Garcia, his first strikeout of the ball game. Four up, four down for Ryan. Swings and misses here. He's down on strikes as well. Back to back strikeouts for Joe Ryan. Pretty good inning, I'd say, for Joe Ryan. Three strikeouts. And there's one away for the former Ranger Gallo. And he takes strike three called right on the corner. And that's a fourth strikeout for Scherzer. Two gone here in the top half of the third, and that brings up Eddie Julian. The 3 2. And he got him swinging. The changeup. His fifth strikeout of the night. Robbie Grossman digs in here. Ryan's 1 2 pitch, and that's clubbed hard out to the right field corner. Drops down, base hit. Grossman around first. Pedals into second. Rangers had their first hit, their first base runner. It's a leadoff double for Grossman. That brings up Ezekiel Duran. 1 and 2. And catcher Vasquez asked for that high fast, uh, fastball. Ryan delivered it and got a strikeout, one down. So one down, and now Leody Tavares. Got him over the inside edge, and what a big strikeout that could be if he now can get Semyon. High fly to left again, and if Walner can track it, he'll close out the inning. Another pitcher's duel, and Corey Seager will lead things off in the fourth for the Rangers. Oh, boy. That ball smashed. Out to right. It is gone. Whoa. Way up there for Corey Seager. His 26th of the year. The Rangers strike first. It's 1-0. Old bat, new bat. It does not matter for Corey Seager as he pounds this baseball 422 feet and continuing doing incredible damage here for the Rangers. And Nathaniel Lowe, the hitter. And this one's lined up the middle. That's a base hit for Lowe. And his hitting streak is at 13 games. One out. Here's Mitch Garver. He struck out his first time up. High and deep to left center field. Stevenson's back at the wall. And he made the catch. He took a home run away from Mitch Garver. Reaching over the wall in deep left center field. Not bad in your Twins debut. Uh, that's a fine play. He got back, found the wall, timed the, his jump perfectly. I don't know if this is going to get out or not. Eh, probably it is. Nice, nice save. So two down, and now Heim. Fly ball right field, and Kepler hardly has to move. That'll wrap up bottom of the fourth inning. Top of the Twins order, Eddie Julian. We'll see if the Twins can get something done against Scherzer. The 3-2. And that is strike three called. Sixth strikeout for Scherzer tonight. One away in the sixth. That'll bring up Polanco. Now the payoff. 
And a swing and a miss. He got him. And there is strikeout number seven. The Rangers will turn it over to the bullpen here in the seventh. And it'll be the left-hander Brock Burke going for the 45th time this season. Eight home runs allowed. That's looped to right center field and down for a hit. And the Twins get their second base hit. Walner called back. And it'll be Luplo who will hit. Poke to the right field corner. Retreating is Garcia. Looking up. That ball is gone. Jordan Luplo goes to the opposite field to give the Twins a 2-1 to one lead. His biggest hit as a twin. And it comes in the seventh inning. It's two to one, Minnesota. What a great two-strike approach. Just trying to fight off whatever might be coming up there. What a nice at bat by Jordan Luplo. Could not have come at a better or, as Dick said, bigger time. The Rangers have been miserable in these close games late, in particular on the road. And now it's happening here at home as Vasquez bats. This one hit well to the right field corner again near the pole. And now it's Vasquez's turn. Luplo first, then Vasquez going oppo. And it's three to one. And the Ranger fans are booing because they've seen <laughs> enough of this. I was just going to say it's very similar at bat to Luplo's. Vasquez looked like his swing was set trying to pull the ball till he got two strikes. Then he got almost the exact same pitch that Luplo did. And did almost the exact same thing. And Josh Spores immediately gives up an opposite field double to Ryan Jeffers. And he's at second base for Jorge Polanco. A drive to right field. And deep. And gone. A no-doubter. And the Twins continue to torch the Texas bullpen. Well, I said put it in play, Jorge. That was never in play. Except for some fans out in right field. That ball was hammered. A beautiful two strike swing fastball just outside of center cut and Polanco jumped all over it. Duran now trying to get the 27th out with a 5 1 Twins lead. Cal Quantrill came back today Josh Naylor soon and the Twins win the opener with Duran breezing through the ninth inning. Not just three perfect innings for the Twins bullpen Jax Theobar and Duran none of them threw many pitches so. They should be good to go again tomorrow if needed. So it remains a five-game lead in the American League Central for the Twins.